Police in Northern Ireland say that any witnesses to the dissident Republican murder of journalist Lyra McKee will be offered anonymity if they agree to give evidence against her killers. She was shot dead two weeks ago by the new IRA, a killing which has sparked a backlash against the hardliners who continue to launch attacks more than 20 years after the signing of the Northern Ireland Agreement that ended the Troubles. Our island correspondent Emma Vardy reports from Londonderry on the efforts to stop the violence. The spectre of an old conflict still haunts this city. Now Derry is trying to heal new wounds. The violence which led to the death of Lyra McKee was orchestrated by so-called dissident Republicans. They see themselves as part of a decades-old struggle against British rule in Northern Ireland. I would just say to them, lay down your arms. Stop the whole thing. I would hope that uh, they would take that on board. And this is the public face of modern-day dissidents. A legal, political party known as Siru, Irish for liberation, who oppose Northern Ireland's peace process. Police say Siru are the political voice of the new IRA, with a significant overlap in the leadership of the two organisations. Now their headquarters in Derry have become the focus of a backlash. In the wake of Lyra McKee's death, Siru have had their account closed by Twitter and have faced repeated calls from people to shut down their operations here. The group haven't responded to any of our requests for an interview, but in a statement on their Facebook page told people they wouldn't be going away. As 11 men were convicted in Derry this week for an illegal Republican parade, we caught up with the prominent dissident and leading member of Siru, seen here in the blue jacket, Thomas Ash Mellon. Mr Mellon, we're from BBC News. We've got a few questions about Siru. Many people in Derry don't want your organisation here, Mr Mellon. What do you have to say to them? People see you as having endorsed the violence which killed Lyra McKee, Mr Mellon. How do you justify that? How do you justify that, Mr Mellon? You say you represent the community, but the community here have made it very clear you're not welcome. Another problem, Mr Mellon, youth workers tell us that what Siri does is deliberately target young people with your propaganda and that helps encourage people to go out rioting. You don't really care about their welfare, do you? Is that responsible? Siri's a very vocal organisation at times, very vocal on social media. What do you have to say to people today? People feel dissidents like you are just trying to drag Northern Ireland back to the past. Isn't that what you're doing? Any words for Lyra McKee's family? Siru says it played no role in the death of Lyra McKee. Police have promised that witnesses who can identify the gunman will receive protection. The new IRA and their supporters represent a tiny minority in Northern Ireland, but with new blood coming through their ranks, their presence will be difficult to erase. Emma Vardy, BBC News, Derry.